like 2004, 2005, I made like a drawing in Photoshop and then uh, used that as like a beginning like starting point in the painting. And I just, it was just like, a, like an aha moment where it was like the first painting I made that I was super excited about and it just felt different for me and like something new. And, uh, and then from then on, I kind of had just been exploring that where I would use like the computer to make drawings and then um, like almost just use that as like a cat, like a, a starting point like where I could create some kind of new like, like images that maybe I wouldn't come up with on my own otherwise. And just like different ways of seeing and like how technology, like, like a technology like that can like change our actual perception or like how we think about images or the way we're seeing. So um, using the computer just became like this way to explore that. There's no rules with it. Like I'll do, I'll do anything. Like I'll do a drawing of pen on paper or like with a marker on paper. I most of the time use an iPad or like a, a, some kind of like digital drawing tool. Um, but I still do drawings on paper too because they'll, they'll get, get me somewhere that I mean I wouldn't otherwise too. Like it can be a different mark. And then sometimes I'll take that uh, pen and paper drawing and then take a photo of it, go into the computer, draw over it. Um, for me it's always a back and forth. Like, I've, like I think with my work and the way I use like digital technology, it's always like, it's never like an, a replacement, it's more of a in addition to. And it's like a back and forth where like I try to find like what's interesting about this digital uh, drawing, what's interesting about like if I do a drawing by hand. Um, I was just online and I saw this, it's just, it was, I think it was just making the rounds on the internet. There was like a young girl, like I think her name was Sylvia. Um, she, I think she started like a Kickstarter and had this idea to make this robot that paints with like a watercolor brush. And uh, it just sounded great, like where I was just really interested in it. And then I was like, oh, what, what could I do with this thing? So then I ended up buying one and then I didn't do anything with it at first. And I just thought it was great, but I didn't really know how to use it. Um, so then, but over the last couple of weeks, I've been experimenting more and more. And what I've been like super shocked with is that it, so, it, so I do these like digital drawings and then it will translate the digital drawing into a, a whatever, it just uses a brush on paper and like whatever paint I put in it or um, whatever paper it can just, just paint on it. And what's curious to me is that it actually kind of simulates my digital drawing better than I can sometimes. And like the expressiveness of the digital drawing, it really can, can capture. And it just becomes interesting, like where for me, like, as I often will look at the digital drawing and then I'll make a, a painting based on that. And that's, it's, it's like, becomes like this interesting thing where it's like, for me, like I start questioning like which one's a little more true to that original one. And I'm surprised like the computer actually does a pr pretty good job with it. And I've like actually learned uh, some, it's just techniques because of the, the, how the robot does it, because it's just, it's just like fearless and will never, it just never stops. Like if it'll, if it has the drawing, it just, if it runs out of paint or something, it just keeps going. And then for me, like I'm always so sensitive to like, to the, to the way the paint's handling and like if it's running out, it'll just like go slower or something. But this thing just like, just does the line. And like, it, I think for me, like it actually became like a little inspiration even when I'm doing regular paintings.